Larry is in Petaluma, just down the road a piece. Hi, Larry. Hey, Leo. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you for calling, for taking my call, and congratulations on your new studio. Thank you. Looks exactly like the old studio. The miracle, yeah, of broadcasting. Yeah, few improvements. A few, minor. Uh, speaking speaking of courage, I had the uh, courage to go out and then buy a new Windows machine. Courage. <laughs> that is courageous. After the after listening to Dorothy, you still want a Windows computer, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I, I, Dorothy and, and uh, a number of other people <laughs> before her. Anyway, they, but I, and, and I should just say this: there, of course, get a Windows computer. Nothing wrong with it, especially if you're a gamer. There's lots of reasons why you need it. But you can see the complexity that's built into any general-purpose operating systems makes things yeah. like what we just heard happen. Oh, well, there's a setting, and it's buried in here, and you got to do this, and, and that's necessary because a general-purpose operating system has to handle all sorts of situations. But it's also kind of unnecessary if all you want to do is surf the net and read email. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm relatively tech savvy. I've been yeah. to you for a number of years. But the, yeah. the issue I'm having is uh, on the on the desktop icons on the desktop screen. Uh, I try to or I've tried to arrange those in a in a in a. Uh, a manner that's sensible to me. And oh, you are an old timer. You, are, I always know somebody's been using Windows a long time when they have a very elaborate desktop. That's right. <laughs> I, it's, I, 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 I set it up to look like Windows Seven. <laughs> I'm familiar with. Okay. Okay. And anyway, so every, every time I turn the machine off or back on again, it, it, Windows rearranges them in some order that makes absolutely no sense. They're not. Yes, because it knows better. better than you. <laughs> So my question is: Is there a way I can get it to freeze what I've what I've arranged in my arrangement so it doesn't change? Yeah, absolutely. There there are a number of programs like Desktop OK that will do this. One thing you might check is your desktop settings because you can set it up in the in the desktop settings to automatically arrange icons according to a grid, alphabetically by date, uh, things like that. There are people. So everybody, you know, it's a personal computer. This is one of the beauties of a personal computer is it's, you know, kind of infinitely configurable. So there's some people who say, anytime I put an icon on the desktop, I want to be arranged in a tight grid in alphabetical order uh, or, you know, or whatever. And so Windows will do that, and you can have that set. The other thing is it's if a resolution changes, of course, the screen gets rearranged to accommodate the resolution. And often people will find, you know, they play a game, for instance, and the resolution changes to accommodate that game. They come back to their desktop. The icons are all different. Because the resolution was changed. Uh, you'll also find that uh, the icons can move around um, for, other, for a variety of reasons. Because uh, to be frank, I don't think, despite the fact that you can arrange your icons, and I've seen people, by the way, draw pictures with icons on their desktop. That's when you really know you're working with an old timer or somebody with a lot of times on their hands. Um, and, and they get very upset when these are rearranged. Or, I don't think window. I don't think it was ever intended, really, that you use the desktop that way. So, but so many people do that. There are a number of programs that uh, will basically take your Windows and and fix it, rearrange it. Look at Desktop OK. It's free. Um, but if you just if you search for you know restore desktop icon Windows 10, you'll see dozens of programs that do this. There's a great company that makes Windows add-ons called Stardock uh, that has a lot of add-ons for people like uh, like this. So okay. um, this is you know this is obviously something people uh, want and have solved in many ways. Somebody in the chat room, Patterson, saying, "Silly sots iconoid," <laughs> and I just like saying that. It's s i l l y s o t dot com. And uh, Icono Iconoid does the same thing. Th these have been around for so long because what you're doing is very common. Uh, you w people want their, but but Microsoft has never acknowledged this, right? So um, if you right click on your desktop and you select the personalize item from the pop up menu there, uh, you'll see a whole uh, bunch of personalization settings, including. Things you know, things about how the, the the desktop will be arranged and so forth. So that's another thing to to look at. Uh, but I think the best thing to do, just run a little utility that, that memorizes your settings and puts them back. Because if you play a game or whatever, they're going to rearrange. If the re if the resolution changes, they're going to rearrange. 
Yeah, okay. I'll try one of those. That's, that's, yeah. I didn't know those existed. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. I, ju I, ju I feel like most people probably, and by the way, this is prophecy that's starting to come true, should probably just get a Chromebook and not worry about all that stuff. But you know what? We're, we're creatures of habit. And if, if uh, you've been using Windows since Windows 98 and you just happen to like the arranging icons on the desktop, well, you can't do that in a Chromebook. And it might be, a, might be a deal breaker for you. Just understand that lots of other stuff goes along with that. Somebody ought to do a movie. This is a good Pixar movie. What your desktop icons do when you're not all around, you know? I think they're up to no good. <laughs> 